technically we refer to disinformation as the person who is sharing it knows it's inaccurate and sometimes they have an intent to harm others or to cause some kind of problems by sending it. Whereas misinformation is information that is just as inaccurate, but the person who's sharing it doesn't know it. So it's really in part has to do with intent. And that is really, really a difficult issue because if all I see is your message, what do I know about you? How do I know what you intended? At Carnegie Mellon, our mission is to look at disinformation from start to finish. Who is generating it? How do you detect it? How do you counter it? What kind of governance do you need? And so on. With respect to the upcoming election, we're working with the Block Center and so on to put together information on generative AI and help people understand how AI and disinformation are playing a role in the election. A lot of the disinformation, it's short-lived and easy to prove that it's wrong, but it still damages the candidate. So it's very much directed to try to get votes going in a certain way. AI itself, like bots, is not the source of disinformation, but they're often used strategically to take a piece of disinformation and then spread it further or spread it to more groups. What if we could stop all disinformation about other countries and other ethnic groups during times of war? What if we could run bot detection and inaccuracy detection on every piece of social media and tag it as such before it ever hit your inbox or you ever saw it? At Carnegie Mellon, you can do this because you can work at the technology side, the human side, and the policy side all at once. And we can create tools that actually work and that will be usable in the real world, not just something you throw into a paper.